Hey guys, how's it going? Me again. Uh, this is a cool one we pulled out. So this rock has basically, uh, when they're larger, people call them flower pots. But this has all kinds of carvings and cutouts from the bottom of the water. Now, as you can see, it's everywhere. The cool part about this is you get an idea of how these things were actually made. Sorry, I'm just lining this up here. So as you can see, we have some dimples and we start to have some carvings. So what happens is as the water rushes against the rock, water has small little minerals in it. The minerals act kind of like sandpaper and it starts to hit against the rock. Now water follows the path of least resistance and rock isn't all made of the same material. So in these cases, as the minerals within the water keep hitting against the rock, it finds weak points. They'll start to burrow into the weak points and it starts to carve around what is hard and what is soft inside these holes. So like that's a little dot. Start to burrow in a bit. You can kind of see there. Focus, Mr. Camera. Better one. See? So, as it starts to burrow, we get these little formations inside. Eventually that formation, that little rock chunk, is this the loose one? Yeah, we'll break loose. This one right here, my, hold on, right here, my finger. That's a loose one in there, that little rock. So that little rock's now loose in there. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna bounce around and bounce and bounce and jingle and jingle with the mineral water and it'll start to make a bigger, bigger hole. These holes become large, massive, and you get designs like this. Or, if you're hiking around in gorges, you'll see the massive flower pots, the ones that like, you know, people sit in and those type of pictures. But this is essentially how it, how it begins first, which is quite remarkable. I've never seen a specimen that has so many stages of these flower pots, uh, from, the be from the beginning ones, uh, through to the perfect holes, and then carvings that just like rip through everything. It's, it's pretty impressive. And this is a rather heavy rock, actually. Uh, for example, you've seen this rock before when I was showing you that uh, what is suspected as a meteorite. This is much lighter than this. And again, this was found in Lake Ontario, which is right over there. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.